Monday versus Microsoft Teams. In today's video, I would like to compare both softwares so that you can make the best decision. So what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to go over all the features on both of these platforms. I'm going to give you my personal opinion and I'm going to show you the inside of both platforms. So I'm actually going to sign into my account and show you what these softwares can do for you. This is not sponsored and I won't leave any affiliate links. So I'm not going to try and sell you anything. In return for that, I would like to ask you for a like on the video that would help me out so much in the YouTube algorithm. Thank you. Let's get started. First off, we've got Monday. Now Monday is a project management tool that you can use to manage teams, manage projects, and overall just run your project with ease. Now this is what it looks like. You can already see monthly team planning. So this software is designed for multiple business things. However, the main element is the project and team management. I'll get into that later on in the video. However, if we compare that to Microsoft Teams, this is also made for managing teams, but in a slightly different way. So Microsoft Teams is better for making calls. It's kind of like, just like Zoom, but then Microsoft Teams. So you can just like call with each other and then also video call. You can share a screen, you can share your work and all of that good stuff. However, the main difference between these two is that this software Monday is really made for managing and running projects and Microsoft Teams is more made for the communication side of it. So for chats, um, meetings, um, calls, and you can just collaborate in one place like it says right there. So that already is the main difference between these two. Now let's take a look at pricing for both softwares. So if we go to Monday, you'll see that there's an individual free forever plan up to two seats, which is pretty cool. So you can get started for free if you want to. However, if you're manage, uh, managing a team, an actual business, only two seats is not that much. So that might not actually help you out. However, next up, we've got $8, I mean, eight euros per seat per month, which is gonna be 24 per month in total if you have free members. And it, it just adds up. You've got the basic plan, the standard plan, and then the pro plan. So it really depends on the size of your team and the features that you'll need. With Microsoft um, Teams, you've got a free one without any commitment. So that's just free, whatever you, you're gonna do, which is fine, that's awesome. Then you've got a $5 per user per month one, which is an annual commitment. You've got the $12.50 one, and you've got the $20 one. Now, if you scroll down, you'll see exactly what's included in those plans. Now, if we go to the free one, you'll see 100 participants that if you're going to pay, you can get up to 300 or even 10,000. Imagine having a call with 10,000 uh, people at once. That will cost you $20 per user per month. So that's like if you have an actual like huge business, like a thousand employees or whatever, that's going to be the option. However, I doubt that some of you will have that. Like most of you watching this video probably won't have a um, business or a team like that, which is totally fine, of course. However, that's the main difference. So for this one, you can get a free plan just like on Monday. However, this is only up to two seats. And with this one, you can still have 100 people in that actual call. The only downside is that the maximum meeting duration is only 60 minutes. Now, if you scroll down, you can check out all of the features on Microsoft Teams and then also on Monday. I'm not gonna like show you all of them because that might be a bit boring. So what I would like to do now is simply sign up or sign in, of course, to my accounts to show you the inside of both platforms. Let's start off with Monday. So I just signed up for a brand new account so that I can show you what this looks like from the start. So when signing up, they'll start asking you questions like this. So I work in a company and then you can select your team size. So that be, might be one up to 10, 11 to 25, 20, etc. So just choose the one that fits for you in the, and then you can choose your industry. So if you click right there, you can choose one. So I'm gonna go with education and I want to manage and then you click right there and you can even go with a specific thing. So you can do recruiting and onboarding, the sales pipeline, research management, customer relationship, just choose what fits for you. If it's none of them, simply click on continue. Step number two is then adding your team. What you can do is simply invite them by email. So if you type in their email, you can then choose their role. So they might be an admin or they might be a member. Admins can invite and manage new users. Members can only add and edit content. So if they're an employee, 
you would go with member if they're an actual manager or like the boss or the CEO, whatever, go with admin. So that's what you can do as well. I'm gonna do this later since this is just a test account, but now we can get into the good stuff. And this is the stuff that separates Monday from Microsoft Teams, because this is the actual difference between them. So like I said, Monday is more focused on managing teams and running projects. And that comes in handy right here. So these are templates. This is the template center. Now what you can do is use templates to set up your own workflow. For example, this is a powerful project management template. You can preview all of them. It even comes with an instructional, uh, like an instruction video that's gonna show you step by step how you can use it and how it works. But what you can also do is just click use this template. So choose a template, just browse through and find one that you like that's gonna fit for your specific project, whatever that may be. And then it's gonna set up the template. So it's finishing as of right now. Hopefully this doesn't take too long, um, but I'll just get back to you guys once it's done. And there we go, this is a template on Monday. Now, if this is overwhelming, don't worry, I'm gonna break it down for you. So this is a board on Monday, and what this means is that you can add people, so your employees or your team, within this specific board as well, so that everyone can view this and have access to this. Next up, you can run your project and manage your team from this board. We can see planning, we can see execution, launch, closure, we can see all of these different categories. Now what these are, are like I just said, specific categories. So for example, if you're running a content business, you might have to edit videos. What you would do is you would type in edit, and then right there, next up, you can type in exactly what needs to get edited. So for example, let's say that activity one would be this video. So that would be Monday versus Microsoft Teams. So in here, you would pretty much list all the tasks that need to get done in a specific week for your business, your team, your project, whatever that may be. You can add them here. Activity two, that might be a different video that might be Monday tutorial, whatever it may be, right? You can add these specific tasks and then break them down. So you can see that this is really handy if you're running projects and you wanna manage a team within one specific place. Now, if we compare, uh, compare that to Microsoft Teams, it's way different. Like I just said already, Microsoft Teams is built for the communication side of running Teams, in my opinion. So this is way better if you wanna chat with people if you wanna have meetings, if you wanna jump on calls, you can see that Microsoft Teams is really built for that. So if you need to call people, if you need to jump on meetings really like fast or a lot of times per day, then I would go with Microsoft Teams because that's made for this. However, if you wanna run a project and you wanna get things done, you wanna manage tasks and all of that good stuff, definitely go with Monday because as you can see, that's what this pr uh, program is built for specifically. What you can do is add specific employees or people to a specific task. For example, let's say that my employee ETS needs to edit this video that I'm making right now. I can then add them as the owner to this specific um, task and that person then knows that he or she needs to do that. I can then add the status. So as of right now for that person, like let's say that's me, I need to edit this. I might be working on it. You can then change that and the manager will then be able to see that I'm working on it as of right now. The timeline, I can then choose that. So that may be today or that may be in two days from now. You can then customize the specific date and you'll then see how much days or how many days are left for that specific task. And that's what you can do with all of your different categories and all of your different tasks. So like I just said, Monday is really great for project, uh, project management, managing teams, getting things done. Microsoft Teams is more made for the communication side of managing a team. So you might actually wanna use both of these instead of just one. I would recommend using Monday for managing tasks and just running the workflow, or I mean running your day-to-day -day business. So for the workflow, for setting up specific tasks, assigning people to that, seeing what the status is on those specific tasks, set up monday.com and then for meetings and calls, go with Microsoft Teams or chats, just communication in general, you can go with Microsoft Teams. In fact, you can even link the two together so that you can have both platforms um, synchronized so that you can work with both. 
That's what I recommend doing. If you want a step-by-step -step Monday.com tutorial, I'll leave a link in the description down below so that you can check that out. If you appreciate this video, make sure you go ahead and leave a like. I would appreciate that. Thank you, then I'll see you next time. Have a good day.